It's YouTube Wednesday! Wah! This will be the first uh, that you know of, what I call Shop Scraps YouTube Wednesday, where I decide to make something and I just use what I have around in the shop. So use this as a guideline. You can certainly use some of the techniques, but you may not have the same things laying around. Don't let that stop you from making whatever you want. I happen to be making a monkey. You don't have to make a monkey. It could be a little goblet. It could be a little Yeti. It could be a little Krampus, whatever you want to make. But just the concept and techniques that I use are uh, what you can pick up from this. Let's do it. I figured what better to make during quarantine than the little monkey from Outbreak, or at least a little monkey. So I know that it's going to have a head and a neck. Then it'll have a pretty uh, V torso, and then a, a body there, of course, and it'll have legs. And I'm going to fur it. Um, and I think I'm going to do the body, the feet, and the hands out of uh, EVA foam is my plan. Uh, and I'll just have the body segment be this kind of wire. This is ceiling hanger wire. You can get this from Home Depot. I just always keep this in the shop. It comes in like six foot length and you buy a bundle of 50. And I think it's like 20, 25 bucks. Um, but I use this all the time for little armatures. So yeah, the head, hands and feet and torso, I'm gonna do out of EVA foam. But he's gonna be posable. He's gonna have this wire for legs. Uh, so standing on the end of the table, uh, the monkey would be about this tall, and that's what I want. I've done this little sketch to scale. You see my, my, my line up top, my line at the bottom? Those are nine inches apart. So whatever these measurements are, that's how big my monkey's gonna be. These are scraps of EVA foam from other things that I make. But these are pretty much the floor mats from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's the, their floor mat foam. Uh, so let me just double check. Yep, here's eight inches. Ordinarily, I would use a lot of visual reference. But you're on my phone, and I don't have my computer over here. So I'm just going to remember what a monkey looks like. That is my hairless, angry monkey, and that is all that I will use for visual reference on this guy. Sketching out that first shape. I happen to have some of these little eyeballs. They're just stuffed animal eyes. I got them from Hobby Lobby. So I now have something that looks like this before dremeling. It looks almost like a ninja mask. I'm gonna do one more piece that's gonna be his nose and uh, mouth. that much of my head is finished. And we're starting to look like a monkey. Once I dremel this out, I think it'll look great. I am gonna glue my monkey head together. Uh, I have fancy black hot glue in my glue gun. You don't need fancy black hot glue. Don't need that at all. I will take out my eyes while I dremel the forehead. So I just, I'm gonna, I wanna round it off. I just use the Dremel to do some rough shaping of that piece. Round it off a little bit, 
so that it's going to look okay in there against those eyes. Look at images to see what those shapes need to be. But I think that's going to work here under my eyes. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be enough. Now I have my little nose piece. I want to glue it on. I want to glue all this down before I dremel it. It's a little tiny and I don't want it to shoot out of my hand so I dremel my finger. That is where I'm sitting right now. That is the mouth parts undremeled. You can see where I'm just going to round those down and blend them into the face. Alright, so there is where I'm at right now. It's all kind of rounded out. We're getting there. I'm going to do one more piece for the head uh, that has the ears on it. Let's do that. You can be as precise as you want. It's your monkey. Your monkey, your choice. That's what I say. Okay, as you can see the earpiece now, I just kind of hollowed those out a little bit. Let's see how this looks together. Not glued together yet, but it's getting there. Once again, I'm going to dremel these guys together for smoothness. I want to work on some things that this monkey doesn't have yet. I'm going to use a soldering iron to go into the foam to make nostrils and some wrinkles. And then I'm going to use hot glue to go over to build up on the foam so that I can make uh, nost nostril flares, you know, the flanges around the nostril hole. Uh, maybe uh, build up some forehead wrinkles. And I got to work on those eyes because right now my monkey looks a little surprised and I want him to look angry. I want to build them eyelids with hot glue. So I just used hot glue to angle off the eyes a little bit, make them a little angrier. I built up the cheeks a little. I gave him a bridge of the nose. And I did a little bit on the sides of the mouth so it didn't look like anything in his mouth would just fall off the sides. Okay, now he has a little bridge of a nose, which, uh, you know, he didn't have before. I don't know if monkeys have a bridge of their nose. But I don't have a reference. It's your fault. This monkey sucks. It's on you. Next, uh, he's head's done. Let's set that aside. Let's go to these uh, hands. Uh So now I just uh, dremeled in just the simple lines of the hand, and I can heat gun this, and I can get some nice little hand poses with it, you know? Uh, I don't mind this thickness for a monkey hand. Let's do the next one. Okay. Feet. I'm looking at my monkey head, and uh, it's just smaller than my chest. So I'm just gonna make my chest smaller.
All of this is going to bulk out a bit when we add fur. I feel this is more in line with this monkey. Okay, let me hit, uh, let me do one more of these. Monkey body, move your body. My soldering iron, I'm gonna prep for a skeleton. Look, it's a skeleton. Keep it in there. If your soldering iron falls off the table, don't catch it. That is going to cap off my monkey's head, and uh, then I will, of course, dremel that, make that smooth and be melded in. But then I have a pretty solid little monkey head that I can put fur on, which is really all we want in the world. setting up a wire for the arms. That is 21 and a half inches long. So half of 21 is 10 and a half. 10 and three quarters. That's my middle. Before I glue that in though, there's something I want to do to the end of these. I want to put a little curl in it because I don't want that wire to poke out and cause problems down the road. So I'm just going as tight as I can with my little pliers here. And now I don't have a stabby bit.
and a lack of stabby bits equals professionalism. I'm going to glue in this piece of the skeleton. That'll give me some shape and form to the body, but also uh, it's just going to give me better support. A little bit of weight, let that hot glue help it set. Spread out. That's where we're at right now. We have a monkey headed stick figure. I now have my parts. I'm going to take my hands and my soldering iron. I'm going to make a little hole in here for that wire to go in. And the, 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 I'm tempted right now to play with this and bend these arms all like crazy. But you don't want to do that because it's going to be a lot easier to skin if you keep it flat. And you know how wire is, once you get it crooked, it wants to stay crooked. And different crooked than you, the crooked you want it to be even. Okay, so I am going to take my hot glue gun. Put a little hot glue in this hole. I'm going to put two holes in each foot. It's a little ghost. Okay. through just like that. So now I can put these two together. Now we have a finished frame for our monkey. I'm just going to electrical tape these together. If someone would throw me some electrical tape from a tape drawer that's over on their side of the shop. Tape the monkey, tape the monkey. Got another piece of ceiling hanger wire. And uh, I'm gonna make a monkey tail. Go If I had to or wanted to make this monkey a week from now, I might have different materials on hand and I might decide to do it differently. Different isn't wrong, it's just different. I am keeping engineering in mind while I'm doing this, and I'm trying to keep it from becoming, you know, weak. So I'm going around the wire, so I'm not just zip tying through foam. I got three pieces of wire in there that I'm zip tying through. And now this tail is strongly rooted onto the monkey. Okay, here we have our monkey, uh, full skeleton but he has no teeth. I'm gonna give him some teeth. I'm gonna get some teeth donated to me by these forks. I think these will make great little monkey teeth. Whenever I'm building with hot glue, I always test it somewhere else first. 
I want to check what's my stream like, how much does it flow, because uh, that's things I want to know right now. Now I have an angry little monkey face with uh, nice sharp teeth. I would love to just go into the other side of my shop and grab a roll of fur and use brand new fur for the monkey, but then it wouldn't be a scrap build. So I have a big chunk of scrap actually that I don't use on any costumes normally. Uh, and it looks like this is actually plenty. This is actually bigger than I thought. Um, but I need to look and see which way the hair direction goes on it. Hair goes down that way. And this is just hot glue. Don't sweat if your hot glue isn't black. I actually think that clear hot glue would show up a, a little less, you know. But I put it together. Put it together. And then squeeze hot glue out to the edge and let that fur cover the seam. I want, I want a little bit of hot glue on that edge, so that seam just disappears. Okay, well see you can barely tell that I glued that together right there in the back. You just, you know, where does the seam? Yeah, that's how I like it. look and just like the same way I do patterns for masks I'm gonna go ahead and do one for this guy's face So I can only glue together like half of that right now because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get his head in there, you know? I just laid him down, I got the length of his tail, and uh, I'm gonna run his tail this way. Their tails don't really taper, so I'm not putting a taper into it. Uh, I will kind of put a rounded end, but that's gonna... And then up here, you see I split this. So that way I'm gonna have a tab that glues in the front, and then a tab that glues around in the back. Just gonna set it up like he's wearing a little backpack. I'm gonna slip that to go around his tail. That's his leg. That's his leg. Um, body out. Body out. Again, fur is so forgiving. 
Don't even sweat like what you're doing. So that's going to be like a little backpack for him. Present to you, my hair monkey. Um, yeah, so now, now I can pose him a little bit. I might let that solidify. And uh, this little neck ruff I'll pull out. That looks nice. Uh, now see his tail is in such a way where we can hang him by his tail. Uh, his tail can help him stand up. Now I have a clean-eyed monkey. Uh, capuchins are known for the uh, white on top of their head. So I'll take a little bit more of that white, really whiten that. I did a little bit of that with spray paint, but let's really let's let's hit it in there. Ah. Go make stuff! This is 18 inches right here. This is, this is how big the monkey will be standing up on the table. Well, that looks terrible. 